Welcome back everyone, Energy Fabricator here. Today we are looking deep inside the neon sign transformer. I've told you before that Carl gave me a couple of these. Um, I've taken one apart to salvage the um, insulating bushes. Uh, these are the bushes that came out of it. Um, you can see that the one on the left has been cleaned up. I've left the one on the right a bit dirty just to show you what it looks like after all of the um, bitumen, all the tarry stuff has been chipped away. Um, to get it from this point to this point, um, any sort of multi-purpose lubricant will break that tarry stuff down and um, it will come off in no time with a, with a damp rag of um, you know, RP7, uh, WD40, whatever you want to use. Um, so yeah, got them out in one piece, came out fairly easily, uh, but this is not the point of the video. Let's go into the transformer. You can see here, that was the, um, the case, it was a pretty big transformer. Um, it was all the black residue stuff, Is all the tar that was filling up the whole main section with the transformer winding. Um, over here is all of the shrapnel that came out of that box. Um, you can see there's big pieces, small pieces, it's just a pile of shrapnel. Uh, the tools that I used to get this transformer out was a roll plug, 12mm 12 mil, 12 cold chisel, and my trusty claw hammer. Um, the raw plug comes in handy for chipping out all of the little bits between the convolutions on the ceramic um, the ceramic insulators. 95% uh, of the work was done with the cold chisel. Um, so it came out pretty easily and I've got the transformer sitting up here. Um, I've always wanted to see these but I could never find a video of anyone who's actually ripped the transformer out of a neon sign transformer. Um, so that's it there. I've managed to take it out without damaging the core. Um, so what I'm planning on doing is cutting all of these windings out and cleaning up this whole core uh, and then we're going to keep the core and rewind it with the with a new winding. Um, it should come up pretty nicely. I haven't even chipped the enamel coating over it yet, so all of that tar should wash off with a bit of WD-40. Um, so you can see the primary has a heavier gauge wire as expected, and the secondary is wound in two halves, one on either side, and you can see how I can get the zoom here. Yeah. You can see how fine those wires are on the secondary. This is the ground wire that we're looking at here. Um, that actually winds around the last few layers of the core before it goes into the transformer. Uh, it does that on both sides. You can see here it actually joins up to here. I've just chipped it away with my cold chisel. Um, but there you go. As expected, nothing special. It is just a transformer encased in bitumen or tar or whatever you want to call it. Um, but this one is pretty massive. I mean, check that out. That's it's a good 250 mil, I'd say, by by about 180, by about 100 mil. Um, so it's a fairly big core so it would be worth cutting all of these windings out and keeping that because I'm not sure when I'm going to get another core at that size so it might come in handy and it's just something to do to keep me out of trouble so there you go you've seen inside a neon sign transformer that's what's hidden inside these big AC versions obviously the um, new digital versions are um, slightly different but there you go
thanks for watching. Please subscribe and leave comments.